Hello, welcome agents. This is Sean with CirclePix Simple Smart Solutions. Let's get started. Today we're doing a short training on exposure. We're actually going to talk about the agent setup wizard, but it all starts with exposure. When you go through the agent setup wizard, that sets up everything. So everything is automated. I'm talking social media. And you know how important social media is. 91% of real estate agents use social media for their real estate business. 77% of real estate agents use Facebook as their primary social media platform. We're going to focus on that today. Let's start out by going over the setup wizard. The very first thing that you'll want to do is go to your CirclePix account. That's where you can log in. If you need help logging in, you can call us, but your username and password should be the email address that you use with your MLS, and the password should be 1234. But then, yeah, call us if you need help. The very first thing when you log into your account, you'll see agent setup. But let me point something else out before we get into that. What you can see right now is that I have my Facebook page open. I have my Twitter page open, and I have my LinkedIn page open. If you have all three of these sites, if you have a Twitter page, a LinkedIn page, a Facebook page, I would encourage you to open those pages before you go through this information. It will just help get everything connected. All right, now, when you click on the agent setup, the very first thing it's going to teach you is to set up your agent profile. Now, a lot of this information will already be set up for you. You'll want to put in your links to your social media site down below. Do you see where it says social media? You'll want to put your Facebook link there, your Twitter link, your YouTube link, your LinkedIn. If you have a YouTube page, put it in. If you don't, leave it blank for now. But if you have a Facebook page, put your link right there. This will make it possible for people to access your social media sites when they are looking at your virtual tour, right? They'll find your virtual tour somewhere and they'll see a Facebook icon there. If they click on the Facebook icon, it will take them to your Facebook page and you wanna increase your traffic. So that's a great tool that's part of your tour. But you do have to put the links in to your social media sites right here. All right. You'll want to make sure that all of your information is correct because it goes everywhere. Your YouTube channel, your Craigslist, your listing flyer. So yeah, make sure your information is correct. Then on this next page of your agent profile, you can put in an agent biography. You can even include an agent clip. An agent clip is a short video clip of you talking about what sets you apart as a realtor. And you can have that on all of your CirclePix virtual tours, your property sites, your agent video will be there if you put it in here. Now you can either use a YouTube ID that you have, a, a URL, or you can use the CirclePix app and record a video clip of yourself, and that will put an agent clip in here. So that's an optional part of this setup. Once you're done with that, click Next. Here you can upload a headshot of yourself. All you have to do is browse for a headshot and then click Upload New Photo. Your company logo. Now if you need to add a company logo, you can. If you don't need to, if you already have one in there, then don't worry about it. But this is if you do need a company logo, you can put it in there. A lot of times it'll already be in there for you. So you can check that out. This next page of the setup wizard, this is where you can select a different style of tour. Everything that we do here at CirclePix is customizable. That means you can change things. You can change the way things look and feel. You can change the music on your tour, uh, but you can adjust those things in this section. Next, this is a flyer. When we build your virtual tour, we send you an email. Now in that email, you can print a flyer. 
If you don't like the flyer that's in the email, you can select a different one on this page and that will be your new flyer in your email. It's just an easy way to get quick access to a flyer. Next, this is the most important thing that I teach in all of my classes, the most important tool. And what I'm showing you here is that I have all of my, my Facebook pages open, my Twitter page, and my LinkedIn. This is what makes this connection very easy. Open those pages first. That's my recommendation. If you don't have a Twitter page, then you won't link to Twitter right now. You can do it later. But I would encourage you to do it because we're doing all the heavy lifting here. We're doing all the posting for you automatically. Once you set these things up, you don't have to do it anymore. It's taken care of for you. So let's go through this social media setup right here. Watch how easy it is to connect. All I'm going to do is click on the connect button and that's going to sign right into my Facebook account because I already have it open. And it's going to an account, it's going to connect to my Facebook business page because that's part of my Facebook profile page. So that's how easy it is to set that up. It'll join right into it. Uh, and then you can hit the check mark, the box that has the check mark that uh, allows the posting. You can also check mark that box below there that says allow my broker to post to my Facebook page. All right, once Facebook is connected, you can move on. You can do Twitter next. Click connect. You'll authorize the app. It gives you some instructions there. Authorize the app and you're connected to Twitter, just like that. LinkedIn, same thing. Click connect and that will hook you up to LinkedIn. Click, you can collect, you can connect YouTube and Blogger if you have those available. It's the same kind of process, just click connect. Now, how often do you want us to post to Facebook? Let us know. Do you want to post there weekly? How often do you want to allow posting to your business page? Bi-weekly? That sounds great. How often do you want us to post to your Twitter page? Once? We'll post to LinkedIn once. That's our option there. And this is a great tool that I'm going to show you next, the Template Manager. The Template Manager allows you to select uh, wordage on your property site. You see, when we put your property site on Facebook, it says something like, uh, see a virtual tour of my newest listing. Or I would love to show you my listing. So you get to choose what kind of verbiage goes on your post. And you can activate that and you can use it. So it doesn't look like a computer is posting for you. It looks like you're actually posting. You can choose custom uh, wordage in there. Great tool. Uh, next. The call capture line. Are you aware, let me first talk about the sign writer real quick. Most of you that are watching this class probably have had other classes and you're aware of the sign writer. The sign writer can be set up so when you call into your sign writer, you can record your own message that you want to have on your sign writer. So when you put the sign writer in front of the property, people that are driving by, they call into your sign writer and they can listen to you talking about the property. Well, the way that you do that is you call into your sign writer, you press the pound key, and then you enter your PIN number, and you can record your own message. That's the beauty in those sign writers. I love that. If I were you, I would set it up that way. That's why you have a lead B PIN, and you can decide if you want to change your lead B PIN in this section of the setup wizard. All right, excellent. Once that's done, you can click Next, and here's your communication. If you work with a team or other realtors that you want to receive the same emails that you get about your virtual tour, you can put their email address in this section and you can add as many emails as you'd like. Just click apply changes when you're done. These are all of your communication notices. So go through that, decide what you want, and you can add cell phone numbers there for text messaging statistics. Every week we're going to send you statistics. You can decide how often you want to receive those statistics. 
Uh, once you get that information in there, click next and you're done. Setup complete. This should take you anywhere from five to 15 minutes. But once you get the agent setup wizard done, we are automated. Everything is automated. Now you can do things in your account like build an open house announcer or add a YouTube video to your tour or set up an e-postcard or build printable flyers or use the lead management system. There are so many things you can do in your account. I would encourage you to log into your account and check out those tools or take some more classes. Thanks for being here for this short training on the Agent Setup Wizard. Have a great day.